Hello everyone, welcome to video 8 of Penny Sale. Uh, not too many items left now. I'm hoping, well, maybe one, maybe two. Anyway, as always, these uh, items that I'm um, selling uh, is uh, by PayPal friends and family only, if possible. Although we could arrange a bank transfer if, if that's easier. And um, the prices that I'm giving you do not include postage and packaging, which will be calculated at the end of the sale. Now, somebody did have problems with the comments disappearing yesterday, so I do advise you to, uh, to continue backing up your order via email, if possible, just so that you don't lose out. Okay, so let's go. So I've got this really pretty um, uh, mitten. I think yeah, it fits both hands. Uh, it's really pretty, but it's only I've only got one, <laughs> so it's fair lined, and um, it I'm, that's throat lot three five one. I'm asking a pound for that one. Three five two. I've got these two little um, pots, material pots. Um, you could put on your desk, I suppose, to hold knickknacks or whatever. Uh, I'm just asking 20p for the two of them. That's lot 352. 353 is a pair of scissors. And um, I'm just asking 30 pence for those. 354 is a pair of um, jewellery making pliers. Um, rather long, long um, flat, flat nose pliers with a rounded tip. Uh, 30p for that 354 Three, 355 is this um uh, purse clip excuse me purse clip um for making a purse you know the, the top of the purse i'm just asking 10 pence for that one 355 356 is some toggle buttons uh, so these sort that you you put something through and then you you can make them um you know move along make the cord move along or whatever so i'm asking 50 pence for this this bag of, of those three five seven is a sewing lot so there's in here there are uh three sets of needles or maybe um packets aren't full okay then there are uh, three set lots of thread there's a bobbin there's a thimble there's some snips some pins and a tape measure and asking a pound for that 357 358 is a mixture of um small bottles so there's these ones, there are four of these, this size, with a cork in the end. This one has been placed on a, on a stand, so it, it will stand up horizontally. There's one that looks a bit like, um, what do you call it, a flask in chemistry. Uh, some domes here, a few domes, and there's also some, I don't know whether we're going to see it, but they're sort of like flask shaped. And for this bundle, I'm asking 50 pence, 358. 359 is this little pot, um, little glass pot, just asking 10p for that. That's 359. Three, 360 is this gorgeous little tortoise. Isn't he lovely? And uh, I'm asking 50p for that. And 361 is a bit random. This is a beautiful um top of a perfume bottle absolutely beautiful with this rose you can see it's uh, got this gold anyway if you can find a use for it i'm just asking 10 pence for that 361 362 is this little packet of small nails um so if you, you if you do um, you know polystyrene work, put beads in or whatever, I think that's what these are used for. I think plus other things. 
just asking 5p for that. 363, now we're coming on to some random lots. This is a mixed a mixed bundle. There are two thimbles, some buttons, a D a D uh, clip, um, a cabochon, a flower, a paper clip. Just random things really in here. Um, and this I'm just asking 5p for this one. 363. 364 is some frames. Um, quite small frames. So there's, there's five frames all together. Um, you can see these, this one and this one are magnets actually. They've got magnets on the back. And then there's some discs and things which Penny has made which say happy birthday and with love on them. And for this bundle I'm asking 50p. 365 is a set of embellishments. So there's some ice cream cones. There's um, some cakes, there's some of these circles, there's a little bicycle, there's a valley shoe, there's some angel wings, uh, a big brad, I think there's a butterfly there, various bits and pieces, and I'm asking 10 pence for that, 365. 366 is a set of, of miniature items. So this is really, really heavy, I don't know what it's made of, um, but this is a girl with a basket of fruit and something like she's sitting down, I thought at first she was a mermaid, but she's really pretty. Um, I think actually this might be one of the moulds that, that we sold in the previous lot, I think she's been made with that. And then there's some miniature things. So there's a, a cup, a bucket, a coal scuttle, a telephone, a jug, some Christmas plates. There's this kettle on a, on a chain. Um, and then there's a post box. <laughs> Rather random items. But for these items, I'm asking £2. 366. 367. There's another lot of glass bead and bottles. These are the miniature ones. Some of them have got glitter in them. This one's got microbeads in it. And I'm asking 50p for all of those. 368, some more miniature stuff. So here we've got um, a small tea set, another small tea set, uh, a bottle with some cookies inside some tarts and then there's a black forest gateau here by the look of it with two two chunks taken out which are there little jug little teapot and i'm asking a pound for those that's 363 sorry 368 369 is another tea service so this has got two cups and saucers two plates a coffee jug and uh, uh sugar bowl I think that's it so I'm asking 50 pence for those 369 370 is another miniature set slightly bigger it's called umbrella so there's the teapot there are two cups and saucers and a milk jug and I'm asking 75 pence for those okay now we're coming on to some jewelry lots well, bling bling I would say um, th these pieces are not whole okay so lot 371 has got a lot of very sparkly bits and pieces in it um, I'll just show you this one this is so pretty um, and uh, I'm finding it hard to think what this was because it's got a clasp here and a clasp here and a clasp there so it's like a a Y, but I really don't know what it was originally. And there's another bit of it here as well. Um, and for this bundle, I'm asking 50p, 371. So if you think you can make things with that, 371. 372, also 50 pence. This is an interesting lot. Oops. 
so it it make it's this. Um, there are no clasps on it or anything, but um, I find that that's quite an interesting piece of jewellery. <laughs> so, but this one I'm asking fifty pence. That's lot three seven two. Three seven three is another random mismatch of things. So there's a once and a pawn on chain. There's some uh, pearls. There's a lobster claw, a leaf, um, some bits and pieces really, uh, little bits of chain. Um, and I'm just asking twenty pence for that. Three seven three. Three seven four are some metal flowers so we've got this metal flower here and here these two and then there's a bit of one <laughs> some petals there's this item which has got some interesting um, links on it there's this cabochon and there's a, a small hair comb there and asking 30 pence for those Three seven five. I'm asking twenty pence for this. There are matching earrings. There are earrings here which are complete. If you like those, and there's also this necklace, but it has been chopped into here, um, and uh, so that the chain is here. So the chain is complete. I'm not quite sure how you would reattach that to say, but somebody might like this. So anyway, it's just 20 pence for this one. Seven five. Three seven six is a set of brooches. Uh, just get them out. Here we are. So we've got this one, which look is like a leaf. We've got this one, which looks a bit like a refrigerator to me, <laughs> or maybe a box of or a safe or something like that. I'm not quite sure what that is. There's this beautiful um, pottery one. There's this one. There's this one, which has got it's got a sickle. It's got um. A rucksack, so uh, mountaineering probably this one is. Yeah, it's got an idle vice and there's some rope. Yeah, that's that's what that one is. Got this one, which I think is like trying to be some uh, a bunch of flowers. There's this one, which is a, a basket of flowers, and there's this one, which is a leaf, which has got a few of the green gems missing. And for this bundle, I'm, go I'm asking pound fifty. That's lot 376. So 377, I've got some, some interesting bits here. So this has got some holes in, on the back. Well, it's got one there. The rest have been cut off. For hanging, um, so I'm not quite sure what that would be used for. There's this um, bezel. There's a nice whistle which doesn't work. I mean, it doesn't ring. <laughs> There's this item here, which is very pretty with flowers, and there are. There's a black faceted uh, heart and a gold heart. And for these, I'm asking 50p. It's quite a headache, actually, to sort out all this jewellery um, and try and get it into some sort of order. <laughs> Three, seven, eight. These are... Three, seven, seven. Sorry, I've just lost the label. I'm not sure which... Three, seven, seven is the hanging hang Right, three, seven, eight. We've got some earrings. Now they're on the whole, they 
is this the earring lot? No, this isn't the earring lot. This is just a mixed lot. Sorry. Um, although there is an earring in here. I'm going to take this earring out and put it with the other earrings. So, and there's an earring here as well. This is because I found some later on. <laughs> so, um, and that's an earring as well. But anyway, I'll leave these ones in. So there's a pair here that look like that. There's a clip. So I think this might be a bookmark, something like that. There's a hair grip, a hair comb with lots of flits on it. Um, one of these things. Uh, a dangle. A nice cross. Um, what have we got here? Uh, something that hangs down like that. Okay, there's another earring here. So maybe this is the earring pile. Um, and there's another pair that match here. This pair. Um, this little flower. Bit of a dangle. Another bit of a hair grip. This interesting item that uh, this might be resin. And I wouldn't be surprised if Penny's made this because the, the hanging loop is, has got tiny little beads on it. Um, there's this, this item, it's quite pretty. Another earring. Another hanging item. And uh, other random bits. So for this bundle, I'm asking... 50 pence, that's 378, and 379 is a mixed, a mixed lot, so in here we've got all sorts of, of interesting things, um, uh, I'm going to put these, these earrings in as well, so there's two, two, six, well this is a um, this is a silver half penny from 1967, and this is a silver sixpence from 1966. And they've both um, been made to hang up. Um, this, as you can see, there's just lots of random bits and pieces, really. Um, but if any of this takes your fancy, there's some charms in here as well. A cross, a parrot, a butterfly, some sequins, some, some lobster claws, a few beads. Yeah, so very random. I'm asking 25 pence for this random lot. I'm going to switch this off while I uh, put it away. Okay, so 380. I've got in here some animal um, insect related items. So there's a bee. There's a two bees, in fact butterfly, uh, another butterfly and a dragonfly. And I'm asking 75p for these so because there are there are two complete brooches and then the rest are uh, bits and pieces. 381 is this piece of um, beadwork. I'm asking 25p for this which is probably an insult because it's so so pretty and a lot of work has gone into this. But I'm really not sure what you would use it for. I try to put it around my neck, and it, well, unless I've got a big neck, it, it doesn't fit. I presume that's what it's meant to be—a choker, it's either that or a very large bracelet, <laughs> or maybe somebody knows what this is used for. But anyway, I'm just asking 25p for this piece of beadwork. And then 382. I've got um, three. Three bracelets so these two are joined together and there's a little uh, a little elephant here um, so these beautiful blue beads and then some flat beads and then this brown one with all of these rings at the top um, and a heart I'm asking 50 pence for the three 383 is this I don't know what to call it it's um, 
it's a piece of bling. <laughs> now there are two bits missing. So there's a bit missing here and a bit missing there. Um, and one there. But I'm just asking 25p for that if anybody's interested. 384 are some nice embellishments. Let's see if we can see it without me taking everything out. So there's this one, which is very Art Deco. There's this one. There's this flower. This um, that one, a lovely shell here. A shoe. Now the shoe hangs up. And then there's some hearts here. And one of these hearts is a locket. And then this sprig with some pearls. I'm asking a pound for that one. That's 384. Right, just going to find the next lots. Okay, so carrying on. This is lot 385, and it's a lovely uh, wickerwork basket. I'm asking a pound for it. I'm trying to get the measurements. So this has got straight sides, and the internal measurement, well, the external measurement is eight and a quarter by by six eight and a quarter by six and it's it's nearly six inches tall so that's lot three eight five to empty it out it's, uh, it's still full of stuff three eight five three eight six is this um napkin serviette holder you, know, you put your serviette paper napkins in there and this comes down uh, that's 75 pence, 386. 387 is this little little piece of, I think this is cotton. I, I, I'm not 100% sure. I think it's very, very fine cotton. And um, there's a fair amount here. Um, I don't know if you can see, but this is doubled. <laughs> you can't see, sorry. It's about a wide, um, uh, about just under maybe a, a yard wide, and it's a probably about the same uh, long as well. So for this piece, I'm asking twenty five p. That's lot three eight seven, three eight seven. Now three eight eight and three eight nine. I've got some plastic sheeting here, which would be big enough to cover quite a large table. So if you want something, it seems to be quite strong. So if you want something to protect your work surface, um, I'm asking 75p for each one. So that's 388 and 389 are both 75p. 390 is this craft wire in the works. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... You get about 15 pieces in here, I think, maybe. Uh, and it's really long because it's, it's the length of this double. And I'm asking 50p for that, 390. Um, three, nine, one. I don't know if anybody would be interested in this. This is a paper shredder. It is working. And it's one that you clip onto a to a you can clip it onto a, a, a bucket, so it's extendable to fit onto whatever size you want. I'm asking two pounds for that. Three nine one. Three nine two is this bundle of um, books. So I've got an invoice book, a duplicate book, and a receipt book. So I don't know if anyone is interested in these. They're, they haven't been used. Um, show you what the receipt book. So that's the receipt book inside. The duplicate book, of course, is just plain. And the invoice looks like that. And the carbon papers are at the back for you to use. So for the three books together, I'm asking two pounds. Um, Three nine three um, is this set now. In here there are some paint brushes, quite a lot of paint brushes here. They are rather fine on the whole. Um, you know, 
you can see there's um, a craft knife there's another, an angled paintbrush interesting isn't that? there's um, a CD marker so that's a permanent marker it does work Chess, I've, tried, I've tried it out and then there's an ultra fine big permanent pen and there are four tubes of watercolour I think they're still all right there's burnt umber Chinese white uh, Davies grey and sap green and so oh and um, and a kneadable eraser so for these for this bundle I'm asking am I asking one pound twenty Lot three nine three three nine four is a set of polystyrene boots. Uh, let me just see how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's at least at least twenty in here, and this is what they look like. So there's this sort, which look like that, and there's an. A plain, a plainer one, which is slightly bigger, which look like that. Um, one of them is broken, I have to say, but I'm sure it could be glued together. So for this bundle, I'm asking three pounds. Now, if anybody doesn't want the whole lot but would like some of them, just let me know and I can divide it up. Okay, so I could sell, say. 10 for 150 or I could sell 8 for a pound or something like that so that's the boots uh, 395 is another pair of scissors um, these are in much better condition than the other pair I showed you but I mean they both work I'm asking 50 pence for those 395 396 is um, a bag of, of cords some of them have got, um, some of them have got, well, <laughs> some of them have got uh, things on the end, but they're extremely short. But um, uh, let's see if we can find one that's a bit bigger. Yeah, so there are some full-length ones which have got um, clasps on both ends. So there's there's a lot in here, and there's also this reel of um, of this stuff as well um, it says ideal for gift wrapping party scrapbooking and craft is on this reel but I don't know whether the reel has been used for, um, for you know whether this was something else and that's just been wound around it I don't know but anyway for this whole bundle of leather and um, silky um, cords I'm asking 50 pence 397 is a big lot so this is all about parchment craft so if you're into this then this is the bundle for you <laughs> I'm asking four pounds for this bundle which I think probably is a bargain so there's a magazine there's the mat there's this um, little uh, folder which is full of um, things which have already been done, um, things which have been coloured up. Oops, sorry. So it's this one. So it's so these have had had uh, holes taken out of them. Anyway, it's a treasure trove, this, this little uh, thing. And there's also some embossed paper and some flowers. And, well, there's all sorts in here. I mean, I haven't really investigated it um, to, the, to its best. There are some pieces of vellum with um, decoration around the outside etc so there's this, that and there's that then there is oops, 
there is this packet which has got the templates in for for pergamano um, so there are a few templates in here like this um, so this is a craft that I'm really not used to so I have no idea um, how it works or anything like that but one of you might know or have done it before or be interested in doing it so so there are all those templates and um so that's the templates there's also some paper more vellum more vellum bits of vellum things which have been cut out more vellum some more vellum <laughs> more vellum more vellum there's some black card very much and there's more vellum there so there's all of that and then there's this bag which has got some of the cutting tools in it so there's this little bottle it's still got something in it all-purpose adhesive tacky quick dry tacky glue there's some low tack tape there's some flower holding um, there's all of there's some flower forming tools and embossing tools here. There's two pairs of scissors. There's a, a Micron 0.1 archival ink pen. There's a gorgeous girl biro. There's a Thick marking ultra fine point. There's a yellow, a white pencil. And there's uh, none of these. And there's this pair of snips, very fine snips. There's um, ah, so there's two white pencils. There's another marking thing, ultra fine point. And there are these tools. So these tools are for piercing. So this one is like a semicircle really sharp pins there's that one there's this one which is like a cluster of four i think four or five and there's this one which has got several inside it so you take the end off it's got these inside so there's a another embossing one there's a very sharp and these two very sharp ones inside so as I said, a good starter pack here, I'd say, if, if uh, you're interested in this. And I'm just asking £4 for this lot.